November 27th, 2023, for whatever reason, I thought some of you might be interested in the UN Chief's latest climate crisis report. He is fresh off a trip to Antarctica and has informed us that it is melting more rapidly than ever in history even more rapidly than the last time it was melting more rapidly than any other time in history. I thought this could show us the direction that they're intending to go. The attack on water, the attack on food. This is going forward and they're just making it clear. So I thought I'd share it. One thing I'm seeing in type, of course, is in relation to Pharaoh's dream that Joseph interpreted about the seven years of plenty and the seven years of famine. And it's my contention, my speculation, if you will, that we are entering the seven years of famine. And when the money fails, which the money will fail, people will give up their land. And then when their land is gone, they will give their bodies for bread. There's a lot that ties into this, and as I always say, God willing, I'll take it further and do a video on it. But I did think that this was a shareable little piece of information here. The latest report from the UN chief himself, who had to go personally to Antarctica, like all of them do, you know what I'm saying? And attest for himself that the ice is melting yet again. God bless you all. I have just returned from Antarctica, the sleeping giant. The sleeping giant. A giant being awoken by climate chaos. Climate chaos. Together, Antarctica and Greenland are melting well over three times faster than they were in the early 90s. It is profoundly shocking to stand on the ice of Antarctica and hear directly from scientists how fast the ice is disappearing. New figures show that this September, Antarctica sea ice was 1.5 million square kilometers smaller than the average for the time of year, an area roughly equal to the combined size of Portugal, Spain, France, and Germany. And this year, Antarctica sea ice hit an all-time low. Climate chaos. That matters for us all. What happens in Antarctica doesn't stay in Antarctica. We live in an interconnected world. Melting sea ice means rising seas, and that directly endangers lives and livelihoods in coastal communities across the globe. Floods and saltwater intrusion imperil crops and drinking water, threatening food and water security. Homes are no longer insurable. Coastal cities and the entire small island risk being lost to the seas. And vital natural systems are at risk of being disrupted. The movement of waters around Antarctica distributes heat, nutrients, and carbon around the world, helping to regulate our climate and regional weather patterns. But that system is slowing as the Southern Ocean grows warmer and less dense. Further slowdown or entire breakdown would spell catastrophe. The cause of all this destruction is clear. The fossil fuel pollution coating the Earth and heating the planet. Climate chaos. Without changing course, we are heading towards a calamitous 3 degree Celsius temperature rise by the end of the century. And sea surface temperature are already at record highs. If we continue as we are, and I strongly hope we will not, the Greenland and West Antarctica ice sheets will cross a deadly tipping point. This alone would ultimately push up sea levels by around 10 meters. We are trapped in a deadly cycle. Ice reflects the sun's rays. As it vanishes, more heat is absorbed into the Earth's atmosphere. And that means more heating, which means more storms, floods, fires, and droughts across the globe, and more melting, which means, with less ice, even more heating. At COP28, which starts later this week, leaders must break this cycle. To the extent that we have to put ourselves on what might be called a warlike footing, because time has quite literally run out. Here we need a vast military-style campaign to marshal the strength of the global private sector. With trillions at its disposal, 
far beyond global GDP and, with the greatest respect, beyond even the governments of the world's leaders, it offers the only real prospect of achieving fundamental economic transition. So we can all get down to work together to rescue this precious planet and save the threatened future of our young people. The solutions are well known. Leaders must act to limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees, protect people from climate chaos, and end the fossil fuel age. We need a global commitment to triple renewables, double energy efficiency, and bring clean power to all by 2030. We need a clear and credible commitment to phase out fossil fuels on a time frame that aligns with the 1.5 degree limit. And we need climate justice, setting the world up for a huge increase in investment in adaptation and loss and damage to protect people from climate extremes. Antarctica is crying out for action. Climate chaos. I salute the thousands of researchers in Antarctica and around the world expanding our understanding of the changes taking place on the continent. They are testament to human ingenuity and the immense benefits of international collaboration. Leaders must not, must not let the hopes of people around the world for a sustainable planet melt away. They must make COP28 count, and I thank you. This Christmas, get the fun activity your kids will love. Greta on the shelf. Greta sees you when you're sleeping. She knows when you drive your SUV to the store instead of taking public transportation. She knows if you've been bad or carbon neutral, so be carbon neutral for goodness sake. I don't want you to be hopeful. I want you to panic. Your children will love finding the Greta doll in new locations each day. When they do, she'll shame them for destroying the world. Perfect for the holiday season. Okay, kids. Can you find Greta today? Right there! There it is! Right there! Right there! Right there! You are destroying my planet, and you should be ashamed! <laughs> Greta on the Shelf is programmed to detect all kinds of environmental atrocities your kids might commit. Turn that light off! Close that refrigerator door! Is that a plastic straw, you monster? Next time I see a plastic grocery bag, I will wrap it around your pet! Did you cut down a real Christmas tree? That is murder. This Christmas, get your kids the gift that says the world is ending and it's your fault. Buy Greta on the Shelf today. Now in all sincerity, I must impart to you the only way any of us will withstand and endure the onslaught of chaos and lawlessness and utterly upside down insanity inverted reality it is only by the blood of the lamb jesus the christ learn of him believe on him god bless you all peace and grace to you many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,